Hello, welcome to another video. I'm posting this because it has been a while. I'm not sure I'm gonna see any stars tonight, really. It's, it's pretty cloudy. There are a few stars out. It's meant to get clearer later. I'm hoping to get the comet. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just making a video because I haven't posted in such a long time. I have been shooting. I've shot quite a lot recently. Um, I've just not shot any video. Uh, yeah, so I, I've shot the comet. Um, I've also been up to Coldstone Cut and shot uh, Cygnus and um, and that bike at the top there. I've shot the Rosette, I'll be sticking these all on screen. I've shot the Triangulum Galaxy. I shot Orion just the other night and I shot the Seagull Nebula in HA, which is pretty cool. I think that's all of them. Yeah, and the Comet again, um, just very briefly the other night. So I've done loads of shooting. I've, I've just not filmed anything. And um, part of the reason for that is because I've just got the one camera and it's, it's catching data. Um, I don't wanna stop shooting getting data so I could take some video. So I thought about a second camera for absolutely ages and I finally uh, bought a second camera. I've just got another, uh, an a7 III and I bought it from MPB uh, because quite a few people had recommended it. So I went with them, bought it, it arrived, it was fucked. The, um, the second shutter, I think it's called, but anyway, the, the, the shutter had shattered. It was missing a bit of plastic. Again, I'll stick a picture on the screen. And, and so I sent it back to them and um and waited a week while they looked at it and then they emailed me and said that i had misused the camera so i spent a thousand pound on an a7 III. it arrived damaged i sent it straight back they then said now you've done this damage so i've been back and forth with them for about a week um saying like how how the hell would i possibly have managed to have damaged a shutter on an a7 III and that they're pretty uh, pretty well renowned for it happens all the time luckily just today i got an email back from them saying yeah all right fair enough um, this wasn't checked before it came out, so we'll send you out a replacement. So hopefully that'll come in the next few days and uh, fingers crossed that one's all right. So the plan is second camera, uh, full spectrum modified and use that as my vlogging camera and then use this one as my usual uh, shoot RGB. That's the plan. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. I can then also use it when it is clear, like on the rare occasion that we get clear skies, I can grab twice the data with two cameras pointed at one target because I've got two trackers now I've got two Samuel 135s so yeah excited for that it'd be really good but yeah a lot of money and almost at a point where I bought a broken a7 III for a thousand pound that they were going to send back to me broken and say that I I broke it so I needed to fix it that'd be fucking I'd have been absolutely well I'd have lodged a complaint with the credit card company but anyway yeah so that's that the only other thing to update on is really I think my last vid was about the um the GTI uh, Skywatch GTI and yeah still been using that every every night I've been out shooting since and thing is fantastic absolutely love it such a game changer for me I still feel exactly the same way about the app the app is shockingly shit it's, there's been an update recently and the app, the app is still shockingly shit I um I shot I went and sat in the car the other night on my Todd up at Coldstone sat in the car freezing cold for half an hour while it tracked to go and check the pictures to find out that the tracker hadn't been tracking because when I went out of the app and went back in for some reason it turned it off it stopped it tracking which is really really frustrating it's so shit that but other than that the the GCI is absolutely fantastic like getting it set up I'm finding it really easy and um, the go-to is just fantastic like this comet that we're looking for um, when when I first shot it it was basically just a little tiny tiny specs I'm only shooting it at 135 as well but yeah stuck it on the um, on the go on the GTI and you just click through the app it's got comets in the app so bang it just went straight to it like it, absolute game changer absolute game changer but yeah that's it that's that's pretty much all my updates um, if the stars come out tonight then I'll be taking a few shots and sticking them in this but otherwise it'll just be a really short one so yeah we'll see we'll see how we get on Right, so it was 
cloudy where we were shooting so we've got in the car driven down the road 20 minutes not cloudy here so quickly setting up get a comet Right, well, there we go. Um, yeah, finished shooting the other night. It was absolutely freezing. It was like half free as well. Um, pretty happy I got the Comet. Nightmare to edit the thing. Um, absolute bore like to, had to break it up into five different stacks because of how far it moves away from the stars. So uh, Deep Sky stack, I couldn't stack it. So it was a nightmare anyway, but I got it done. Glad I got it done. I can now move on to another target. I, um, I've had the camera from MPB delivered this morning so I'll send that off to get modded in the week and I have just packed up all my gear because you can't see that I'm um, heading to Iceland tomorrow there for three days and uh, hopefully gonna get some clear be able to see some northern lights or uh, I've taken the tracker I'm taking everything with me but I've checked the forecast and it's snow the entire time cloud the whole time so I might not be lucky but we'll see potentially the next video could be an Iceland vlog we shall see right if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.